All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Tabata. And today we are going to have a true Tabata set. We have 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight rounds going through the entire thing, eight times, eight times, check it off and move on. So we do have supersets here, which means that sometimes we'll be working the same muscle group uh, from a different angle. Maybe we'll be doing a different move. Maybe we'll be adding to things. Uh, maybe we'll be doing the other side, all kinds of good stuff. So it's a quick hitter, uh, but it's a fun one. And it's an old favorite. We haven't done this one in a while, so I figured why not? We might as well do it now. So enjoy. Let's get warm. We're going to begin with a heel raise and a T-squeeze. Heel raise, T-squeeze. There you go. She's talking to me. Hopefully everyone's having a great week. It's finally nice out. We're finally getting some sun. The trees are blooming. The grass is growing. Noses are running. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> if I have to blow my nose, I'll excuse myself. Seven more seconds here. Nice squeeze in the back, Two, stretch in the chest. One. Next up, air we have an air squat. No need to rush here. Start to find the depth that's gonna work for you. Really think squeeze the front and the back of the legs at the top. I'm finding that helps me keep better balance on my descent. Good control here. 10 more seconds. Three, two, Good. one. Settle. Standing Arms behind. We're going to come across in our standing bicycle crunch. Think about your body as a cylinder here. And in that cylinder, you don't want to crush the can. You want to keep the can long. You want to keep it uh, cylindrical. <laughs> so stay tall. That's the moral of the story. Three, two, one. Good. Next up, jumping jacks. Use your options here. You have your step out, you have your skip, you have your full. Eyes facing forward, not up at the ceiling. Generating a little heat. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Next up, Tim Soldiers. Seconds. Again, staying nice and tall. Depending on the flexibility, your reach may be at the knee, the shin, the foot. I don't really care what it is as long as you're staying tall. Keep the can tall. Don't crush the can. Also, try to keep the leg long. Flex the foot for a little extra stretch. Three, two, Next up, we're going to hit the deck, plank walkout. plank walkout. Squat on the way down, walk yourself out, hold for just a second, and then try to keep the legs straight as you work your way back up. So bent knees on the way down, hold straight legs on the way up. You got time for about one more here. Three, two. One. Once you finish that one, we're back up into our squat. Adding a little bit of speed now. So hopefully we're a little warmer. This can be a pumper right here, or you can get really deep in your squat. If you want, you could stay low and do a pulse. That's up to you. Got 10 seconds here. Almost to the warm up. Three, two. One. Got our Heisman next, Heisman. lateral one, motion. Two, our one, two step with the knee hold. Walk it out to begin. As you get warmer, add some speed. If all else fails, just keep moving. Three, two. Next up, run on the spot. Run on the spot. We'll start nice and light, little jog. It could be a shuffle. 
It can be a little back and forth. We're going to play with this as it goes along. Now bring the knees up. Don't forget to pump the arms. Let's go heels. Heels up. Last 15 seconds, pick it up. Final 10, pick it up. Five seconds. Three, two, one. And breathe. Nice and done. So once more, we have rounds of 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Your first superset is our broad jump to our bootstrapper. Back of the legs, front of the legs. Your legs will burn. That's okay. If you are not a fan of impact, we're gonna have our puddle jumper option for the broad jump. In the bootstrapper, try to keep contact with the toes at all times. We're gonna reach down, we're gonna extend out. It's gonna be a nice stretch for the back of the leg, but the quads are gonna be on fire. It's fun, pace yourself. Take breaks as needed. You have 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Eight total rounds means four supersets. So one, two, 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 three, two, four, two. Hopefully that makes sense. Starting with our broad jump. So broad jump, again, is our rock back. We power through and we land soft. The non-impact version is your puddle jumper working all the same muscles without Three, that hard impact. Two, one, rest. Now we have our bootstrapper. This is the second half of round one. Three, two, So one. we're down, we're touching the toes. The we kneel down into a squat and we extend. If you want it, take that extra second to really enjoy the stretch in the hamstring, especially in this early round. Before long, quads Three, are gonna feel nice and two, warm. One, rest. So, one full round down, three full rounds to go. Back to our broad jump. Three, two, one, broad jump to group strippers. Now, as you land, best you can, try to land in a squat, right? It'll absorb the impact. Another good way to think about it is to land quiet. If you don't have that much space, you can do what I'm doing. Three, you can turn two, around, one, do one back, one back. forth. Or you can do one forward, two forward, and then run your way back. Back to our bootstrapper. Three, two, one. Broad jump to bootstrapper. We're down, we're up. Try, best you can, to keep the back flat. Right? So I don't round round, kind of huddle. I'm really working my squat, so I'm hinging, and I'm bringing everything down, and then extending Three, up. Two, one, rest. Woo, halfway. Broad jump. Three, two, one, broad jump to bootstrapper. So a good way to break this up, if you need that, is to get a big one forward and then a couple little ones back, you reset and you power three, back. Two, one, rest. Bootstrappers round three of four. Three, two, one, broad jump to bootstrappers. At the bottom, are your eyes up? Is your chest proud or are you kind of hunching? If you're looking at your heels, your head is not up. Three, two, one. Final one. round here. Two movements, last time through. Three, two, one. Drop Keep that landing quiet. Whatever option you're choosing, 
if it's the puddle jumper, if you're doing a side step puddle jumper where you don't even add the jump, you stay low and you step side to side. Absorb the impact Three, two, by sitting in. One, yeah. Final round of bootstrappers. She's going to say bootstrippers. I just know Three, it. Two, one. Drop jump to bootstrippers. Ah, she said it. Three, two, one. Good. Take yeah. a breath. Woo. Set one in the books. Cross it off. Set two. Push-ups. Two. Our renegade row. If you would like to use elevation in either your push-up or your renegade row, you have that option. If you would like to add weight to your renegade row, that's also your option. For me today, that ain't happening. Not feeling it. So, if you'd like to take that, uh, pause the video right now, grab a quick set of weights, preferably hex dumbbells, not something that's gonna roll on you, soup can, something like that, um, and use that for your uh, weight in the rene renegade row, or even in the push-up. You can make that a little extra depth. Otherwise, if you have elevation, you'd like to use that, you can. You have options at the knees, Three, at the wall. Two, Take your pick. One. Starting in our push-up. Push to power renovate row. So as always, think about keeping really good posture here. Right? Shoulders back, down. They're set. They're not moving. My whole Three, body moves as a unit. Two, one. Rest. Good. Breathe. Now you'll see behind with the weights. In the renegade Three, row. Otherwise, two, from one, the knee or full body, power renegade row. I want you driving the elbow up and back. So going straight up towards the ceiling, boom. Think about squeezing it with your wing. Really fighting to stay square Three, to the floor. Two, one, rest. Back to our push up. Any combination Three, of two, these mixtures one. is good. Push up to power renegade row. Now, some options in the push up. If you're playing with the elevation and you're playing with the knees, you can also play with the hand placement. For example, you got the hand release push up. You can go narrow, you can go wide. Three, you can go plyo two, if you want to. One, rest. Now, in the renegade row, check my feet, right? If I'm narrow Three, and two, I try to one, renegade row, push up to power renegade row. I end up turning, right? If I go instead with a wider base, I'm much more stable. I really want to fight the urge to open up as I bring the arm with me. Three, two, one, rest. Round three, starting up. Three, two, back to our push up. One. Push up to power renegade row. Can you slow it down? Can you do a one and a half? Halfway up, all the way down, all the way back. Three, Ooh. two, one. Back to our renegade. Three, two, one. Push up to power renegade row. We're right, keeping constant force through the, the palm of the hand, the heel of the hand that's on the floor. You want to think about pushing through Three, the floor. Two, one. Oh, final round. Three, two, one. Push up to power renegade row. Seven seconds. 
three, two, one, rest. There is one more option with the renegade row. Three. Two, if the lower back ever one, starts to hurt here. Push up to power renegade row. You can go from the knee. Fight to keep the back flat, but using the knees will help take some stress off the lower back. Three, two, one, rest. Good, take your rest. Little cardio burst back to the legs here. Coming up. The descent into madness. Our squat thrust, our frog jump. Now, for those of you that don't remember, squat thrust is the bottom half of our burpee. We're not going to come up. We're going to stay down. That means if you have a chair, if you have a bench, use that to your advantage. In the frog jump, we're staying low in the squat. Little hops forward or non-impact, our monster walk. You have options. In the squat thrust, if you have a bench, it's here. I step or jump out. I stay low. I reset. I never come all the way up. Those are later. Starting with that squat thrust. From elevation or without. You can walk these out anytime. When you reset, Chest is up, eyes are forward. Three, two, one, rest. Into the frog jump. Enjoy in the rest that so you get to extend, Three, that you get to stand two, up. One, what like to frog jump? Depending on what space you have, you may be able to go forward and backward. Three, you may only be able to go four, forward. You may one, be able to hop pretty good. Yeah. Or you may do one forward and you take a couple steps back. Make it work for you. Three, Three seconds. Two. One. Back to the squat thrust. Squat thrust to frog jump. Never coming all the way up. Staying low. Oh, I just thought of a nice little bonus that we can do. Three, two, one, Ooh. rest. The legs weren't warm before, and they are now. Three, two, one, what rest to frog jump. Now, if you really want to get frogger with it, you can add the reach. That adds a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> Three, two, one, oh. rest. What are those called? Where you stay low, you stay on the floor, you keep jumping. Oh, Three, yeah. two, one. If you want a little extra in your squat one. thrust, keep it on the floor and start to speed up. With this one here, you really got to focus keeping the back flat, the chest up. Because if you start to hunch, two, one, you're getting it more in the neck, and I don't want that. Frog jumps. If this is really three, starting to wear on you, two, keep it one, more shallow. What thrust to frog jump? This can be a little bunny jump if you want it. Ten seconds here. Three, two, one. Final round. What do you got? Take your pick. Make it a good Three, one. Three, two, one. What does the dog done? Five seconds. Three, two, Ooh. one, rest. Final round, frog jump, monster walk. 
Bunny hop. Three, two, one. Flat thrust to frog jump. On fire. Three, two, one. Oh. Breath. Take your breath. You and you earned it. I'm trying to say too many things at once. <sighs> now this next round, we're gonna split up a little bit. We're gonna stick to sides, at least in the beginning. So we have a power lunge into a pogo. These can be a little more static or a little more cardio, depending on your flavor. We'll show you options for those as we go along. The power lunge, I want you to think of a board that you are smashing over your knee. Now, instead of a board, we're going to keep the hands together. So by adding the hands, we include a little bit of everything. Keep the cardio going. From there, we are going to add the pogo. So if this is my power lunge, my pogo is going to take that mo motion and it's going to add a little spring to it. So the non-impact version is going to be up on the toe, adding a little bit more. We can go airborne if we want to. Land soft, land on the full foot. We're going to stick on one side for two rounds, flip over to the other side. After that, I'll tell you. Are we ready? Starting in five. Four. That was a long second. Three. Here we go. Beginning One. the power lunge. Power Pick a side, any power. side. So we power through. Add the high knee if you want to. Or if you take a look behind me, my lovely assistant has a non-impact shuffle version. Three, two, one. Breathe. Yeah. That one is a little more of a cardio burst, right? You're still getting work in the leg, but Three, more about getting the heart rate two, up. Now we're into the pogo. One. Power lunge to pogo. So we're into a little bit more spring. The working leg is the plant leg. It's not the leg that's doing all the moving. It's the other one. Halfway. Three, Use the arms to your advantage. Two, one. Left. Good. Other side now. Again, kind of building. Three, two, one. Power lunge to Pablo. Halfway. Keep pumping. Notice the arms are moving. We're going. Three, two, one. Rest. Back to our pogo. Now with the pogo, right? Use the arms. Almost like you do when Three, you run. Two, by driving one. the arm, Power you Chicago. can add a little bit more oomph. Three, two, one. Ooh. Rest. All right. Back into the power lunge. Original side. Which side do we need to Three, this side? Two, this one. Side. Power lunge to pop up. Oh, yeah. There we go. Forgot for a second. Try to keep track. Halfway. Really get moving. It bounces right Three, off the floor, right two, back up. One. Rest. We're going to go power lunge on the other side now. Now we're kind Three, of building into this two, nice one. finishing power, lunge to power. power movement. Almost Three, there. Two, one. Ooh. Got 50 seconds of work in a row. Back to your original side, into our pogo. Three, two, one. Power lunge to pogo. 
Good power. Drive through that full foot. The heel stays on the floor as you drive. It's only at the very end that you pop up, whether you're going up on the toe or Three, airboard. Two, one, Instead of resting, one. bring it into a squat hold. Oh, isn't that nice? Great. Little breath. Three, oh, it feels two, so good. One, and we're up. Oh, we'll go the other side. Out. After this, you get a nice long rest. Seven seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Nice, we're done. Enjoy. Take a sip of water. I learned that one from the best. <laughs> All right. Next up, if you have a bench or a chair, can come in handy here. Tricep, hip dip into an up down plank. So you'll see that the up down plank can be up, up, down, down, or it can be a hold in the up plank, a hold in the down, and then a build from there. So in your tricep hip dip, you can do that from your bench. Remember, it's not a neck movement. I want the shoulders back down. Exaggerate the posture. It's all about the squeeze in the back of the arm. You can do this from the floor. Three, and two, if this movement is not going to work for you, to up down plan. and you have a weight, you can always grab the weight and go into an overhead extension. So notice, this, that's not it. This is a neck movement. I extend out. I try to keep Three, my backside two, close to one, the bench. Rest. Onto the floor, up down plank. You can hold your high Three, plank two, one. as the option it's here. It's 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 up down plank. Otherwise, wherever your elbows end up under your shoulders, that's where I want them. The hands replace those elbows in the high plank. Three, two, one. Good. Back to our tricep hip dip. Now we saw a little extreme version back there last time. Three, you can add the two, toe tap one. if you'd like it. If you're looking to make it easier, recognize that the legs play an important role in that. The closer your feet are to your body, the easier it is. Further out or a leg raised, harder. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. If you're going with the tricep overhead extension there, it's a great option. Fight to make Three, sure that the elbows two, stay in. One. Tricep hip dip to up down plank. Anytime you need it in the up down plank, hold the plank for a little bit. Need a little rest. I take my plank. Okay, now I'm ready to bounce back in. Three, two, one. Good. Three, two, one. Press the pit to the up down plan. If you want more, do that. <laughs> if you are getting in, the arms are getting a little tired, that's okay. Think about it at the Three, very top, really two, squeezing one, the back of the arm. Rest. Keep that engagement. Three, two, one. Press the pit dip to up down plan. Keep that pressure in the belly. A little flex in the foot. Three, two, one. Rest. Oh, round four. Final round here. Hey, good news. We're almost there. Three, two, one. Press the pit dip to up down plan. So here, when I get to the top, I'm really thinking. Squeeze the back. 
Oh, it's on fire. Three, two, one, left. Ooh. Up, down, plank, final round. Maybe it had something to do with arms yesterday. Three, Maybe. two, one. Twist the kick, kick to up, down, plank. Now, my final challenge here. If you can try it, keep the hands out in front. Oh, it's almost like a skull crusher hybrid. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. good, breathe. Woo. Hey, we're almost there. Almost there. Next round. Cross back lunges into a bridge with a reach. If you have carpeting, if you have a soft floor, I would make sure that you have that readily available. If you have hardwood floor, well, that's fine. You'll just get a little tougher. So cross back lunge, our curtsy lunge, our bridge with the reach. Squeezing up with the backside, minimizing arch in the back, and then reaching across. We're going to start with our cross back lunge. Three, so beginning nice and tall, two, swaying one. behind. Cross back lunge to bridge reach tab. Powering up. Keep the weight in the front heel and really power through that. The back toe is going to help as well, but the majority of the weight is pushing out of that front heel. Stay tall. You get to Three, control the depth here. Two. One, rest. Now we're on the floor. Bridge reach with the tap. Three. I'm really going to power two, using one. my backside and my hamstrings. Back lunge to bridge reach tap. As I reach across, it is not an arch in the lower back and then a wrench. Use the table, bench, chair option as needed. Three, two, one, rest. One round down. Three to go. Three, two, one. Cross back lunge to bridge or each tab. Now you can see I'm alternating here. We also have the steady state one side version where you can switch at the midway point. You can stay on one side the whole time if you want. Another Three, good option. Two. One, left. If you have a ball, you can make use of that. All kinds of toys. Three, two, one. Now, Cross if the reach, the bridge reach tab. in the bridge is not going to work for you, for whatever reason, this just isn't happening today. Keep it as your bridge or at a bridge march. This is a fine option. Three, two. One, press. Good, back to our cross back lunge. If you stayed on one side the whole time last time, go to the other side now. Three, two, one. Cross back lunge to bridge or each tab. Control is a good thing here. Push through that front heel. If your lower back is not feeling good, stay shallow. Three, Keep the back leg two, close. One, rest. Bridge reach. Three, two, one. Cross back lunge to bridge or each tab. Toes may come up here. Drive the heels through the floor. We really want the squeeze in the backside and the hamstrings. Three. Not in the lower three, back. One. Rest. Is this round four already? So. Wow. Three. Two. One. Cross back. Now for a little extra here, back. you can add depth. That's a great option. The other thing you can do is you can really power out of it. So take your pick there and try not to fall over. Three, two, one, oh. rest. Final round, bridge reach. Three, 
Three, two, one. Cross back lunge to bridge or each tap. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Make it to the final round of our workout. Before the other final round of the workout. <laughs> Last movement set. We're going to build up the burpee into the burpee with a sit through. So we'll take this step by step from walk out to jump out to add a half sit through to adding the full sit through. In the second half, in those last four, you can do whatever you want. But for the first four times through the, cir the uh, circuit, stick with us. So round one, we're going to walk it out with or without elevation. Up to you. After that, we'll jump out. After that, we'll do our full burpee with a tap and a tap. And round four, we had the full Three, sit through. Two, Starting out. One. Burpee and squat down, step out, step in, step up. As a reminder, the burpees always begin and end with a squat. Nice and easy, Three, little rest two, for you. One, rest. Round two, now we're going to jump. If you have the jump, if you like the jump, take it. If not, stay walking out. Three, two, one. Burpee and sit through. Three, two, one. Two rounds Three. down. That was quick. Now we're going to add a foot tap. So what that's going to look like, I'm down, I'm out. I tap. Three. I tap. Two, I'm one. in. I'm up. And sit through. Getting that movement pattern down. If at any time one of these is not going to work for you, just go back to the last one. That one doesn't work, go back to the last one. Three, no big deal. The two, progression. One. Now. now we add the full sit through. The full sit through, we take off one of the hands. Three, if stability three, is not your thing. One. Keep both hands on the floor. You can sit through, keeping both hands there. That's okay. But if you want the added challenge, the oblique crunch, raise the hand, and you really have to balance, pushing through that Three, side body. Two, one, rest. Now, second time through, up to you. Do you start back at the beginning? Do you work back from Three, hardest to easiest? Two. One. That's up to you. Burpee and sit through. Round five of eight here. Three, two, one, rest. Woo. Three, two. One, burpee and sit through. There is no right or wrong answer here. There is no right way or wrong way to keep going. If it's do one, take a couple seconds. Three, All right, I'm ready. Do another two, one. One. That's fine. Yeah. Do it. Two rounds Three, to go. Two. One, burpee and sit through. Five seconds. Three, two, one, oh. rest. Final round. Keep a count. So that next time you know Three, how many you got two, in your final round, one, you can beat it. And sit through. Oh. You 
You may be slowing down. That's okay. You got time for one more. Three, two, one. Ooh. Ooh Eight rounds is a lot, but you did it. You survived the workout. Woo. Now, just a little bit of core to freshen up your day, set you out of here, and uh, on to the next one. So, in our core round, we have all of these. All these. So instead of yelling them all at you right now, so you can forget them all, I'm just gonna trust that your eyes are able to focus and that you can do what you see, right? Most of these you've probably seen before, I hope. And if you don't recognize them, just take a look, try them out. At the very least, do what's right for you. So I'm just going to throw them all at you. They're 30 seconds a piece. There are a couple of them where we go from one side to the other. So just keep your ears open. Take a look at that. If you don't know, just try it. If you don't recognize it, do something that you do recognize. Just keep moving. Five seconds between. So this moves pretty quick. We are going to begin with a hollow hold. That means arms, legs start above. They're going to work their way out until you feel that you have to work to keep the lower back on the ground. Beginning in five, four, three, there we go. So into our hollow hold, I start up and up, I work my way out, and then I just hold. Harder than it looks. Don't forget to breathe, halfway. Keep the lower back on the floor. Don't lose that. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Flip it over. Three. We have a high plank. Two, one. High plank. We're going to walk ourselves out. So one, two, three, four, four, three, two, and one. Take your time here. Flat back, pushing through. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, rest. Good. On Three, your back. Two. Bicycle is one. next. Next bicycle hold or heel lowering in middle. So you have options here. As a reminder, the longer your lever, the longer your leg, the harder it is. Shorter lever. Easier. Halfway. I don't want you to rush these. Take your time. Feel that slow burn. Three, two, one. Ooh, look it over. Onto your Three, forearms. Two, one. We have our forearm plank, forearm plank hip dip. Hips are coming side to side. Aiming my hips at the floor. You may not get all the way down to the floor. That is okay. What you want to feel is a nice little side body crunch as you come down. Three, two, one. Rest. All right, on your belly. Three, nice two, little reprieve one. halfway through. Thumbs up. Low with hands thumbs up. Basically, a reverse breaststroke where I really want you squeezing your scapulae here in the middle of your back. So I tighten my glutes and I squeeze my shoulder blades together. Three, two, one. Good. Nice. On your back. Three. 
two. Drive the elbows into the floor. We have a windshield wiper. We're gonna go side, hold, middle, side, hold. My elbows are driving into the floor at all times, keeping me stable. The lower your legs go, the harder it is. Bend the knees, you wanna make it a little easier. Three, two, one, rest. All right, so widen the legs out. Two, one. Feet wide. Wide feet full. We're gonna go up and then over. Rest. Stick to one side for 30 full seconds. So I'm up and then I reach over. If you can, try to minimize the momentum going into this movement. Five seconds on this side. Three, two, one. Good, it's an immediate now switch. Up, reach for toe, have me high. Now I'm up and over on the other side. Don't look now, we got two minutes to go. This next one is a fun one. L set. Three, two, one. Mentally yeah. prepared here. Three. You have two, an L set. One. I want to flat one, back. Five, one, four, count. Start off with the knees bent. Straighten the leg. Release the leg. There's one. Straighten the leg. Keeping that flat back. Release the leg. Number three. Three, two. Oh, it ran out nine, of time, so I'm so sad. Yeah. Last but not least, our get three, up, sit up. Two, Elbow nine, into the floor. Get up, get up. Plate yeah. of food, something that you don't want to spill. Drive through the elbow. Keep that plate of food directly above the shoulder joint. We don't want it way down, way up. That's when things spill. If you've been practicing these all week, it's a great time to really get down this straight line over the shoulder. Three, two, one. Last time get through, up, switch the sides. Same knee and hand are up. Use the leverage of the elbow into the floor to help guide you there. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Ooh, Your journey really? is complete. Well, there you have it. You did it. You completed our Tabata set for today. Well done. Hope you had a nice time. Don't forget to stretch and have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time.